Does your organization take payments and care about data protection? Then you need to understand what tokenization is and how it helps you better protect your customers' credit card information. Tokenization is a pretty complex topic, but it also has a pretty simple explanation. My name is Micaiah, and I'm from Chargent. If you have ever wondered what exactly is tokenization, then you are in the right place. Tokenization is a process by which a piece of sensitive information, such as a credit card number, is replaced by a surrogate value known as a token. This helps your organization follow data security best practices and achieve PCI compliance while retaining all essential payment data. So let's review an analogy that tells us how payment tokenization works. Hey, by the way, if you're interested in more ways to reduce your PCI scope, then I want you to download the Salesforce PCI guide using the link in the description of this video. Let's say that you're headed to fabulous Las Vegas to play blackjack, and you start out your evening at the MGM Grand. When you sit down at the table, you hand them $100, they hand you back 20 of their $5 chips. And while you're in the MGM Grand, those chips are as good as cash money. Now let's say that after a little while, you're winning and you're up to $200. And you decide to walk next door to New York, New York and try your luck there. Now, you may know that New York, New York is actually owned by the same parent company, MGM Resorts. However, your $200 worth of MGM Grand tokens, they're not gonna work at the New York, New York. They're only currency at the MGM Grand. If you were to put them on the table at New York, New York, you'd be told that you can't use them to play there. And this is just like tokenization. Tokens are only relevant in the right context, making them of no value to would-be thieves. And while gambling in Las Vegas is encouraged, uh, gambling with your customer data is not. Did you know the average cost of a data breach is up by 13%? To minimize your risk or the impact of a data breach, we've written an easy to follow guide that can help you reduce your PCI scope in Salesforce. Download our Salesforce PCI guide using the link in the description of this video right now. Let's take a deeper dive on tokenization. When taking a payment, you, the merchant, you give your customer's credit card number to a trusted partner. This is usually a payment gateway, and it's done using bank level encryption or a hosted payment page. In turn, the payment gateway gives you a reference that represents that credit card in their system, and this is known as a token. That token represents a specific combination of a single payment detail to a single payment gateway for a single merchant and is identified by a random string of characters. It can't be deciphered because it hasn't been encrypted. It is randomly generated. And that is what makes the system so secure. If a would-be attacker manages to get their hands on these tokens, there's just not much they can do with them. And even in the worst case scenario, where they also get your credentials and sign in to your gateway account, the tokens are tied through your merchant ID directly to your bank accounts. Anything charged against a token would remain in your bank accounts and it's fully within your control to reverse. And tokens, they're not just used for credit card information. Most payment gateways will also tokenize bank account data, which is important if you're taking bank payments. The value of tokenization, it's pretty easy to see. It eliminates the need for you to store your customer's full payment information, and that reduces your compliance risk. In the age of frictionless payments where your customer experience and security are top of mind for both consumers and for merchants, leveraging tokenization is more important than ever. Retyping credit card and bank account information is not only a huge waste of time, but storing payment data, it opens you up to unnecessary liability. And tokenization doesn't just significantly lower your risk of a data breach, it also is an industry standard enforced by the PCI Council for all organizations that take credit cards. It's not impossible to be PCI compliant without using tokenization, but it is much more challenging. At Chargent, we recommend that all of our customers use tokenization to protect card data throughout their organization. You can leverage our payment console and our payment request features to ensure that your sensitive cardholder data is tokenized. The account number, it's never stored in Salesforce. Our payment methods feature also relies on tokenization to deliver security and business continuity. You can tokenize at multiple gateways. So if one goes down or is under maintenance, you can simply move to another one. This means less disruption for your business and less frustration for your customers. 
And now that you know the basics of tokenization, I want you to check out this next video here where you're gonna learn more about the benefits of charging. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Charging, where we're dedicated to helping you make payments in Salesforce simple. And remember, we are always here to help.